You with the Urban Sports Scene here in Norfolk, Virginia. The MEAC tournament is in full effect starting today at 12 p.m. with Norfolk State women's basketball kicking off the tournament, the number one seed. We're in the building. Wole, you wrote the, you wrote the dope blog on just the <laughs> MEAC tournament, the MEAC men's tournament mainly. Yeah. Touched on the women a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, you can check that out on any of our social yeah. media pages yeah. and also on urbansportsteam.blogspot.com, I think is the is the site check out Wole's <laughs> blog it sets the stage for the MEAC tournament which we expect to be amazing this season so what are you expecting as this Man, tournament gets started so many dope storylines be honest with you you got a hot central team North Carolina Central that is on a seven game winning streak going into it probably the hottest team in the MEAC you have the, the bullies on the block where I like to call it Norfolk State that won the last couple of two years they mm -hmm. you know they're in it they got they're in contention and obviously, to me, the favorite right now is Howard University, who just knocked off Norfolk State mm -hmm. at home in a big game. ESPN was watching and blew them out, beat them about 20. I think they are the team to beat right now. Beat They swept the series with, with Norfolk. Uh, to me, when they're shooting a three ball like they shot against Norfolk, I think they're a hard team to, to beat. Obviously, you have Morgan State, where Isaiah Burke, that's a score. That, that's a kid that I think if he gets hot, they can to give him a nice little MEAC tournament run. And obviously, like the Dark Horse, to me, one of the favorites too as well. I guess I call them the Dark Horse, but the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, they're getting healthy. They have all their seniors. They're senior senior heavy. They rely on these individuals. We're talking about Zion Styles, Deshaun Phillip, you know what I mean? And even, obviously, you have the star player, Kevon Voiles. So I think that, to me, the Shore is a strong team. They, they can strap up the way we've seen them strap up. They can definitely make a run to the MEAC finals and possibly win it all. So how does this location impact other teams? This is basically a home game yeah, for, for both Norfolk teams. Yeah, I mean, how would that come into play? And considering you just called them the conference bully, back-to-back -back champs, yeah. Player of the year, Joe Bryant, for a second consecutive season. Yeah. Norfolk should be the betting favorite. That was your favorite. You just switched to Howard. So yeah, what, what happened? You, you have to watch the game, man. You, you watch <laughs> the games, man. You sweep a series. I know, like, obviously the first game was controversial. But the second the second game of the, ser of the series was the game that both teams needed. They both wanted the, wanted the number one seed, right? And I felt like Howard brought the energy. And to me, in tournament time, it's March Madness. When you shoot the three ball the way they, that they can shoot the three ball, they shoot the three ball about 80, I mean 38 percent, a 38 percent clip. Mm -hmm. To me, that is a big thing in the tournament. Right? We've watched the tournament for years, man. We watched it in the NCAA tournament, in the conference ball. tournaments. The tray ball wins games, <laughs> bro. And to me, Howard has that, so that's why I would lean towards Howard. But to the point that you're referring to about this being in Norfolk, obviously, they, you know, they they have like the they have the advantage. This is the truth, and you have the best player in the conference, like. The, Joe Brown was conference player of the year. You know what I'm saying? So he is that guy. So obviously having the crowd in his favor, having the best player, that does help, you know, Coach Robert Jones and his team to be able to probably take it, take the MEAC tournament for the third straight time at 3 P. Last season, Coppin made the MEAC final. There could be a dark horse. I like Delaware State to be that team that can make a surprise run. But it's going to be a really good uh, just year for the, for the MEAC. I'm sorry, a good tournament for the MEAC because it's been a great season for the MEAC. And we'll have coverage throughout with the urban sports scene. We're not making predictions just yet. It might be too soon for that. Uh, we got to see how these, these first day games how they play out, but we'll have a prediction soon. We like Howard or, or, or Norfolk. We also, of course, are UMES alum, so it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, keep following us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we appreciate all the support. We'll have results as the MEAC tournament continues to play out. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.